All right, the virtual draft party continues. We got a couple of guys now that uh, were highly responsible for that magic last season. Quarterback Ryan Tannehill and linebacker Rashawn Evans, both first rounders, might I add. How are you guys? Doing great. How's it going? Good, 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 man. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. So, uh, Ryan, I'll, I'll start with you. Are you still kind of riding on a high from last season? I mean, AFC Championship game, what a story last season was. Yeah, it was a fun year, you know, a really incredible year, the way we, we kind of turned it around and, and made a run, but it's on next year. You know, I think uh, that chapter closed for me um, as soon as the season was over, you know, obviously had a little time to reflect and, and look back at, at what we were able to do. And, and uh, now it's, it's on the next season. You know, we have a, a new team, uh, some new guys we're getting to add, ready to add tonight and, uh, you know, a lot of work to do. So getting excited for next year. All right, and, and Rashawn, there's something magical. I, I often hear this, and, and, you know, hey, Eddie, correct me if I'm wrong, but the third year coming up, are you, are you, are you Jones going to get out there? Oh, most definitely, man. That third year, um, you know, just from my first and second year, I would say it's just been like night and day. So I'm definitely excited to see what the third year, you know, holds for me, man. Um, you know, I need, everything is kind of a little different right now as far as training. Uh, you know, you're not able to go to most of your – your, your places that you normally work out is, you know, most of the time I would be down there in Florida, man, training down there with Tony Villani's, but I'm here in Nashville training. So but other than that, man, I'm, I'm definitely excited for the season. Yeah, Rashawn, man, I'm a big fan, man. You, you made some great strides last year, made some explosive plays. Uh, just a big fan of you, man. And, and I think it looked like last year, everything just slowed down for you um, uh, at the linebacker position. How did, how did it feel? You know, I feel really good, man. Um, just from my first year, uh, dealing with the injury, hamstring injury, man, um, you know, it's, it's definitely a, uh, you know, a journey, especially coming in as a rookie, man, being able to try to catch up to everybody. Um, can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a journey, man, trying to be able to catch up to the speed of the game. And, um, you know, and when you have a hamstring injury, it kind of slows down all of that, especially learning curve. So, um, now, man, I feel like, you know, just with two years up under my belt, man, having a really yeah. good season that I just came from, from the second one, um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely excited to see, man, not only for myself, but mm -hmm. the team, man. So I'm curious, uh, given, you know, your positions with the team, quarterback, uh, quarterback and linebacker, do you watch this draft a little selfishly? Like, do you, Ryan, want a particular position picked and Rashawn? I mean, are you, do you have a want here? Oh, Sean, go ahead first. I I have my answer. Oh no, shoot, Ryan, what you say? What you think? <laughs> I, I stay out of it. I, that's been my whole mindset since I get got to lead. Is like, you know, there's always something that you're kind of looking for, but at the same time, I just try to take a step back. Hey, these guys put hours and hours, thousands of hours into to finding the right fit, uh, not only for for a position but for our team. So um, just really trust in the organization, trust in in the guys that are that are devoting their whole year basically mm -hmm. to um setting up their board and then get ready for this draft so um hands off approach for me and just uh, excited to see what we get okay all right yeah i, I agree with Tannehill, man i mean you know you get in the draft around this time man you really just want to get the best possible person you can possibly get to help the team man and you know uh you know another guy i could think of uh you know jeffrey simmons to be able to come in Oof. like he did and you know do all the things that he did um you know i'm looking yeah. forward to see who's going to be that next guy yeah yeah. So, I mean, when I played, I looked at the draft and Tim. So I was like, man, I hope we get, you know, Kevin Dyson. I love that's my man at the heart, but we had a chance to get Randy Moss. And when they skipped over Randy, I was like, okay, that was an interesting non pick, <laughs> you know? So <laughs> I knew what it could have done for our offense and possibly, you know, for me, not having to carry the ball 50 times a game. So, I guess it's a little different for you guys now, unless y'all just saying, you know, you know who you want, but you don't want to put it out there. <laughs> well, most definitely, most definitely. Uh, that's great. Well, how uh, how about uh, physically, though, during this quarantine, during this lockdown, the, the, all that we're having to deal with, are you just having to modify your own personal workouts at home? How difficult is it for you guys? Yeah, so it's definitely a different situation than than I'm used to. Uh, just being being here at home, I'm, I'm – Thankful and blessed to have a little gym here at the house. So, you know, added some new workout equipment to that once this uh, this quarantine got going. 
and um, just been working out here at the house. I got, I got a pretty good setup with dumbbells and kettlebells and uh, all types of machines. So, you know, excited to, uh, to get back to work. It's different, like you said, just uh, not being able to get in the gym and, and have that camaraderie with guys, but, um, you know, still getting that work in. Oh, and like you say, it's definitely different. Um, to me, it feels like high school all over again, man, where you, you really have, you don't have some of the top-notch equipment that you normally have, you know, when you're in the NFL and in college, you know, you really just have like your, you know, your backyard, your, maybe you ha might have a ladder, maybe you might have something that, you know, you're able to use to be able to, you know, kind of, you know, you know, manage with some of the things that you normally used to use but other than that, other than that, man, it feels like high school all over again. I'm back to doing my old school push-ups, doing my, <laughs> uh, you know, my abs and all of, all the other stuff. So I just been enjoying it the whole time. All right, man, guys, thank you so much. Well, I appreciate as a fan what you bring to the two tone blue. I'm excited for this season coming up. I can't wait to see who we get that's gonna play with you. Uh, but yeah, Ryan, you you said it off the top. It's about looking forward. Yeah, of course. I mean, excited for this year and, and the opportunity we have in front of us. Obviously kind of weird getting ready in this crazy time, but, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for, uh, yeah, for hanging too. out with us. Have a yeah, great uh, draft party wherever you are. Be safe working out in your backyard. And uh, we hope to uh, get this season going uh, right on time and hope to see you on the field soon. Thank you for, for being with us. No doubt. Thanks for having me.